Hey everyone, it's Feta here and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to continue the topic of Reiki and uh, this time I'll talk about how to learn Reiki at home. So if you're watching this video, uh, it means you already know what uh, Reiki is uh, and would uh, like to begin your own journey. So I'll skip the introduction of this uh, healing technique and its history and we'll go straight uh, to the point. So let's get started. Okay, but before I share my experience on how I learned Reiki at home, there is something I suggest you do in advance before you start learning Reiki. So what you need uh, is to ask yourself, am I drawn to Reiki? Do I feel uh, this calling? Am I ready to let go of skepticism and prejudice? And am I ready to spend time learning? These questions are essential to ask to understand if you are truly ready to devote time and effort to learning the Reiki practice. And if you still hesitate or feel uncertain, take your time. Or I suggest you visit a local practitioner in person or online and take at least, you know, one Reiki session. It might guide you to the right decision. And now uh, let's continue and I'll talk how Reiki found me. So, my journey began unexpectedly. Uh, Reiki found me when I didn't expect uh, it at all. One day uh, I watched another uh, video on YouTube and uh, uh, yeah, some, someone mentioned uh, Reiki there. So, uh, for some reason I decided to Google what Reiki is. I came across it at times when I, you know, felt stressed and frustrated and um, digging deeper into this concept, uh, into the Re Reiki concept, I had that feeling, the, the calling, I call it. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't feel any doubts. It was that, you know, unwavering natural uh, confidence I strongly felt. So the decision was made and uh, the next step was to understand where to start from. At the time I had quite a busy lifestyle and could hardly attend any uh, you know, offline courses. Plus I felt I should you know, do my research. I did my research and found Essential Reiki, a complete guide to an ancient healing art by Dan Stein. Uh, here is the book. This is uh, a Russian edition, but uh, I know it's uh, in original version it's in English and maybe it's translated into other languages. So here is the book. It's quite thick, you see. And I highly recommend this book to anyone who, you know, would like to get familiar with um, the Reiki basics. You learn the history uh, of Reiki, a detailed description of Reiki sessions and its symbols, uh, including, uh, you know, um, advice on space preparation, discussions, ethics, handouts, and attunements. So basically everything you need to start. The book also presents full information on all three degrees of Reiki attunement. And to tell the truth, now it's my uh, third time reading this book and I'm still learning from it as I read. Back then it took me about a week to read it and that's when I was ready to take uh, a course. So, uh, what I did next uh, was doing my research on online courses available. And while searching, you know, I paid attention to um, three things. The master's personality, students reviews, and um, courses content. To be more precise, I wanted uh, to know the master's lineage and uh, years of practice. Also, to what degree current students were satisfied. And finally, if the course covers the basics and beyond, including the, the availability of distant attunement and a certificate of completion. 
uh, that way I've opted for uh, Lisa Powers and her Reiki Level 1, uh, 2 and Master program. Apart from uh, the fact that she and her program course is available to the students uh, forever, it's quite important uh, to me because uh, there was so much information included, you know. And I have to go back to lectures every time and again, and it's great, I can do it like whenever I need. And finally, I'd like to recommend this course to anyone who feels the need, uh, you know, to go deeper into Reiki and begin practicing it. Uh, and it's worth mentioning that uh, some people are skeptical about online courses and prefer online, on-site classes. Well, I shall stand with those who prefer online courses. The reason is offline classes, uh, it feels like they don't last that long, as far as I can tell. And uh, to me, it feels like less information is given and it's quite brief. Uh, and if I had time uh, to visit both online and offline, um, I'd, uh, you know, surely have opted for it. But um, if you would like to practice Reiki, you know, uh, on yourself or your friends and relatives and are struggling to choose between offline and online classes, I suggest you go for the online ones. But if you would like to uh, make Reiki uh, your business. Uh, I suggest you get uh, offline attunement as well. So why? I googled information on Reiki practicing uh, in the US and Canada in particular and looks like it requires uh, an obligatory uh, offline training and certification. As for the US, uh, it depends on the state uh, you are practicing in. So I found a guide where you can learn more. I'll leave both links in the description box uh, below. So yeah, and now I'd like to talk about continuing your education. Once uh, you finish your learning and start practicing, uh, you might want to, you know, go even deeper into Reiki. That's uh, what happened uh, to me. So I took another course with, which is Crystal uh, Reiki, and I'm so glad I did. I mean. Um, you know, I love crystals uh, and I have a small collection of my favorites and it's amazing, you know, how they both complement each other. I mean, raking crystals. Uh, I, it feels so natural and uh, at the same time expands my overall knowledge of the universe. Uh, I also bought uh, this book. It's called uh, Crystal Reiki, a handbook for a healing mind, body and soul by Krista Mitchell. Uh, this is also very unique. It has um, information on crystals, on chakras and all that. And I, I really like uh, how it looks. Yeah, let me show you. So, and the course itself, it was by Lisa Powers as well. So, yeah, so what I'm trying to say is that a basic Reiki course is not your final destination, and there is much more to discover, so take your time, get ready for it, and if you feel the calling, just go for it. Uh, it's like a great uh, addition to your uh, basics, and uh, yeah, if you feel like it, do it. Okay, so uh, that was basically it for today. So if you have anything uh, to share about your Reiki experience or learning it at home or um, offline, um, let me know in the comments below if you have any tips uh, so that other people would know and maybe make use of it. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, click the like button and uh, I'll see you in my next videos. Bye-bye!